question from the homework deals with a, uh, a section, uh, section 1-4, I believe, that uh, has us simplifying expressions that include radicals and complex numbers. Uh, these two things go together, because if you remember, um, the complex number system is helps us come up with out answers that make sense when we have uh, when we try to take the principal square root of a negative number and we define the principal square root of negative 1 as I an, an imaginary number okay so when we see radicals sometimes the solutions aren't real numbers they're either imaginary numbers or sums of real and imaginary numbers which create the complex number system. So what we have here is a pair of complex numbers multiplied by each other and they're under the square root bar. And the first thing you should notice is that these numbers, one has a plus, one has a minus, and yes the quantities are the same and so these are actually conjugates. It's a little easier to see that they're conjugates by reversing the order, not writing this first one in standard form. So I'm going to reverse the order of this and rewrite this as 12i plus 16 and 12i minus 16. At this point, you can see that these are a conjugate form. Now, we can't use some of the normal stuff, but what we're going to do is we're just going to... Um, perform the indicated multiplication using FOIL. There is a different way to work this, and I'll maybe do that afterwards, but I'm just going to FOIL this thing out and see what we get. So the first two terms is 12 squared i squared. The outer terms, because these are conjugates, this is going to be minus 16 times 12 i and then this is going to be plus 16 times 12i. So those two middle terms are going to end up canceling each other. That's what happens when you have conjugates. Um, and then this final term is going to be minus 16 squared. All of this is under the radical. Uh, the radical bar is considered a grouping symbol. It had anything underneath this bar here needs to be done first before you take the principal square root. And so that's why we're simplifying and performing the multiplication first. Uh, if you think of order of operations, PEMDAS, right, as some of you all would see, Parentheses rep is a shorthand for any grouping symbol, like the fraction bar, right? 5 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Normally, multiplication and division would be done first before addition and subtraction, but the fraction bar is a different type of division. It's a grouping symbol, and this bar says do everything above and below. It's similar to the bar across here. Everything here needs to be done first. It's like having parentheses around this whole thing. Do all of that first before taking the square root. Add first before taking the square, before uh, dividing. So at this point, I need to continue simplifying and do this subtraction before I take the square root. So this is 144. I squared Right? The, the, the neat property that this gets us is i squared is negative 1. So this is 144 times negative 1 minus, and I don't know 16 squared off the top of my head. It's uh, 256 now that I'm thinking about it. Yes, um, 256, powers of 2. Um, sorry, a little digression into my own head here. And then this is the principal square root of all that. So negative 256 minus 144. Uh, looks like it's going to be 400, but I'm going to write it here to check just to make sure. 256 plus 144 
0, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1. Yes, 400. Um, but these are both negative numbers, so negative plus negative is negative. You add the absolute values, keep the negative sign. This is the principal square root of negative 400, which is principal square root of 400 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of a product is the product of the square roots. This guy is again our friend i, and the principal square root of 400 is 20. So the answer to this problem is 20i. This initial um, radical with product is a really fancy, complicated, messy way to write 20 times i.